Hi, uh, I just wanted to go over your homework three results with you. This is where you were looking at the fish data that we've been working with in the first couple of homeworks and we were going to uh, introduce ourselves to R and do some simple things. So let's take a look. Of course, as I mentioned, one of our first steps is always to look at the data graphically and a frequency histogram is often the way to go with that. And so here's um, a couple of the histograms that you made for your homework. We're looking at the uh, length in inches. Let me do a little drawing on here. So you see that we're looking at fish length in inches um, and as always with a frequency histogram you've got the distribution of the different values of length on the x-axis and you have the number of uh, individual observations at each of those values on the y-axis. Now you see here that we've got the same data graphed with a couple different values for the breaks and we mentioned that in R if you're doing a histogram you change the breaks or the breaks can also be called the bins and the more of those you have the it'll change the shape of your distribution a little bit. Um, one thing you'll notice is that we tried to set the breaks equal to 5, it's here on the left, and 10, which is here on the right. And if you count these up, you'll find out that this one actually has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bins, and this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bins over there. So one thing to realize, don't get freaked out about that, uh, this is only a suggestion at the number of breaks. R is going to make some decisions to make the graphs look a little bit better. Also, it, perhaps the, the, the bins are there, it's just that there were no values in some of those bins. Um, well, one other way that you can do a histogram that's very useful is that you can specify your bins. And if you'll remember that when you did this in Excel, that you were able to specify the bins, and we'd like to be able to do that in R as well, and control exactly um, the size of our bins and so we can get the histogram exactly the way we want it. So let's for example say that we want our histogram to show the fish lengths in one inch length groups. And so what we want to do is we want the bins, we want our fish lengths to be broken into the number of bins it takes to go from zero to the maximum length that's in our data set by one inch length groups. So one way to do that is to use this command max length or max and then put the the variable of interest or the vector of interest in there and that will tell you what's the maximum value. When we do that we find out the, the longest fish was just a smidge over 16 inches. So our maximum value will be 17 inches. So then what we want to do is create a new variable that we'll call bins. We could call it anything, but we're going to call it bins. And then we're going to tell R what should go into that variable. And what's going to go in that variable is the bins that we want to use for the histogram. And so what we have here is a, a command called seek for sequence 0, 17 by equals 1. Well, what does this mean? Seek means create a sequence. 0, 17 means that the sequence is going to start at 0 and end at 17. And then by equals 1 means the sequence is going to uh, go by 1s. And it's very simple. And now that is stored in this variable bins. And so now we can do histogram of our length variable, but instead of specifying the number of bins, we specify the variable that we named bins, which contains actually 17 or 18 values in it. And that's how we can get the histogram to make the bins in one inch length groups. And you can see here that we've got zero, we've got uh, uh, one fish that was at two inches, and then one that was at five, from five to six inches, and then a bunch at seven inches, and then 
we see we got one fish that's the one fish that's between 16 and 17 inches and so that's a very useful tool in R so let me um go ahead and uh, show you directly how we're going to do that again in R so you'll see that I've uh, loaded in a uh, data matrix here called hw.dat and this is just where I stored the data from your homework and you see you've got your different column headers we've got the length in millimeters I have not created the length in inches we'll just do this for length in millimeters it'll be the same okay so I want to do a histogram of that variable so I type hist length millimeters and it doesn't work and I did that on purpose. Why didn't it work? Because it doesn't know where to look for this vector called length in millimeters. Remember that we got to tell it where to find this vector. And to do that, we can either go hist and um, our data set's called hw.dat, then put a dollar sign, and then put the length in millimeters and there we have it we made our histogram or I can come back over here and if I don't want to type that long dollar sign notation every time I can just attach hw.dat and now if I arrow up a couple times now if I ask for the histogram of length millimeters now, since I've attached the data set, R knows where to look, and it runs. And, of course, I get the same answer because I haven't changed anything. Okay, so now I want to do it um, in one-inch length groups, which is about 25 millimeters. So we'll do 25 millimeters since we're working with millimeters. So you remember that I want to create a variable with that sequence, which I'll call bins. And then I want a sequence. I'm going to start at zero, and I don't remember where to stop, so forget this. We need to find the maximum of this variable called length in millimeters, and it's 421. And since we're doing this in 425 millimeter increments, the next biggest value is 425. So now I can go uh, bins is equal to a sequence from 0 to 425 millimeters by equals 25. And just to see what it made, I can just type the bins because bins is a variable or a vector that contains all these numbers I just created. And when I do that, you will see that here is a sequence from 0 to 425 by 25s. And so it's very easy to create these sort of lists of numbers if you ever want to use them. And so now I want to use it by saying hist of length in millimeters. And this time my breaks is going to equal this variable bins. And when I do that, I get my nice histogram. Whoops. It's a little misshapen but you get the idea. Let's try this. There we go. And so here's my uh, frequency histogram with 25 millimeter breaks. And so now you know how to change your uh, bins to whatever you want, and you also know how to make a sequence of numbers in R. And that's it. Thanks a lot.